Today we'll be adding movement to our talking character. If you haven't followed my lip-sync tutorial yet, you can just draw a smile on her and practice her movements first. And you can download this character at my Gumroad link below. First, let's give her some expressive eyebrows. Go into the group and click on the eyebrow group. And as you can see, here's the right one. Uncheck it and check it and the left one. So we're going to move the right eyebrow first. Oh, nice and here we're just going to choose a spot where she says a certain word. You can pick anywhere because your audio might be different. And just click on the playhead here and edit and split. Now we're going to find the place where her eyebrows will stop moving. So click on the playhead, find that little spot, edit and split. And here's where you'll move it around. Click on the three dots, edit anchor. This is kind of like a hinge where it will be anchored in this spot and you can move the rest of the eyebrow from that spot. So let's try that. Click on one of the handles and rotate. There you go. And let's do the same thing for the left eyebrow. Try to find the exact same spot. Edit, split, and find the ending, edit, and split and do the same thing click on the anchor three dots edit anchor it's already set and just rotate and let's so take nice a look looks so good cool. now i'd like to start it a little earlier so let's drag the right side long press and drag this part long press at the end let me show you again yeah it's very easy to adjust them so nice to see you now I want to show you another way to make expressive eyebrows. So let's pick any spot here on your audio is wherever you like it the best. Click on the playhead, edit, split, kind of the same thing. Find an ending point, edit, split. And this time we're going to raise her eyebrows. A little high there. Okay, and then the same thing. Go to the same spot. It should click when it finds that spot. And then... Click on edit and split and raise her eyebrow here as well. So nice Let's to see take you. a look. This is so cool. We're done with the eyebrow group, so close that and go into the eye group and make sure you are on the open eyes. Click add, track, and make sure you're on the drawing tool and just start drawing these lines here. Two simple curved lines is all you need. And there she has her closed eyes. Okay, so long press on this new closed eye track and fill duration. And first we'll rename it to closed eyes. So rename and we'll make it closed eyes just to keep it less confusing. <laughs> okay, great. Now let's uncheck that and we're going to find a spot where she's going to blink. We're going to go to this track first, edit, split, edit, split. Now we're going to uncheck her open eyes here and find the same spot in the closed eyes track. Do the same thing. Make sure it's the exact same spot and check the closed eyes right here. And you can see her blink. So nice to see you. This is so cool. Okay, that looks really great. Now I'm going to show you how to make a second eye bleak without drawing the blinks again. So let's go to edit split on the open eyes track, just like before. And notice this is a little longer than the other one, but that's okay. I'm going to show you something. Uh, once we have this, long press on this empty one and delete content. Now we're going to go back to the close eyes, long press and copy and go to the space here long press and paste it doesn't fit perfectly so let's just grab this one and drag it to the edge and we're gonna long press on the edge of the open eye track here just kind of drag everything close together so they all fit okay that looks good now we're done with the eyes and the eyebrows let's go down to her torso arms group and we're gonna work on her arms now. So let's go to the first track here for the arms or layer 
and we're going to click on the little three dots, edit anchor, and we're gonna move it by the shoulder area. Find a spot where you wanna raise her arms, and I think right about here is fine. Edit, split, and go about a second or less and do edit, split. I'm making subtle arm movements, but you can make them as large or long as you like. Let's click on move and move and scale. Click on that little curve button. That's good. I don't want to do it too much. Plus the shoulder is a little off, so we're not going to move it where it looks like it's dislocating her arm. Find the same spot on the other track below it. Edit anchor and move it to the same shoulder area here and do the same thing. Find the same spot, edit, split, and the end of it, edit, split, okay? And just try to match the height of her other arm. Move, move and scale, and rotate. Okay, let's check it out. So nice to see you. Okay, very subtle, but it looks good. And we'll do the same thing in another spot and just speed it up a little bit. So nice to see you. This is so cool. Okay, we're done with her arms, so let's close that group. And uh, we want to move her head now, but sometimes we have to rearrange tracks. So we're going to move this body track above the eyebrows. And we're going to delete any empty tracks like this. Now for the important part. We want to make sure that her face and eyes and mouth, everything is grouped together. So click on the grouping tool and just drag everything together, long press and group. And again, if you like, you can just delete these empty tracks here just to keep it clean. Okay, go to the face group now. They're all together. And go to the group, unselect it, and click live perform. Click on the handle and just so start cool. tilting the head as she's talking. So nice to see that was very quick, so but there cool. it is. <laughs> it looks good. Okay, let's yeah, find another nice spot where she's doing that. So nice I'm going to do it at the beginning here. And this part, you just click live and click the handle and rotate very subtly nice here. Okay, let's take a look. So nice to see you. This is so cool. All right, let's take a preview. With four fingers, play. So nice to see you. This is so cool. And that's a wrap. Click on this video to learn how to make her lip sync. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Keep leveling up with Procreate Dreams by clicking on these videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.